Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Cancer's uh, moon, sun, and rising. Okay, let's see what spirit has for you guys for the month of October 2017. Who's excited about October? I know I am. <laughs> okay, if you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below. You'll be able to find my contact information on there. Okay. Let's bring a little messages for Cancers for the month of October 2017. So I've been shuffling for quite a while, and I usually get, you know, a tug that lets me know that's pretty much. And for some reason, uh, Cancers. Not sure what's going on. Just for cancers for the month of October 2017. What are the general messages for cancers for the month of October 2017? Okay. <clears throat> I know this takes, uh, the shuffling takes quite a while. Um, I like to try to keep my videos as short as possible. Um, but I do like to integrate uh, the shuffling in the videos just so you guys can see that nothing is orchestrated or, you know, I do everything very organically. So just bear with me. Spreads, what are the messages for cancers? Okay. All right. So this is the last shuffle. So let's get into your reading, Cancers. Your first card, you have the Wheel of Fortune, the Chariot, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Cups, wow, the Devil card, the Eight of Swords, Judgment, the King of Wands, the Four of Coins, Seven of Coins, Nine of Swords, and the full card. Alrighty, Cancers. All right, let's get into your reading. So, wow. All right, Cancers, your general energies for the month of October 2017. You have the Magician card. So, as a general energy, the Magician is definitely a reminder. Um, anything that you wish to manifest, anything that you wish to bring about, you have all the tools and the elements at your disposal. Uh, try the best you can to uh, not fall victim of your own thoughts or your thought patterns. And the reason I say that is because I do see some sword cards that speak about either anxieties or speak about a lot of mental uh, fears that are coming up for the month of October. So again, the magician is definitely the beginning, okay? Uh, it's a starting anew, but it also speaks about you having all the elements to be able to manifest or create the type of life that you're wanting or you're desiring, okay? So let's get into your reading. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Times are changing for you, Cancers. You're starting off the month very strongly. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune definitely speaks about striking luck, but it also speaks about seasons and endings. Uh, you know, what goes up must come down. What goes down must go up. You do have the chariot here. This is your card, Cancers. So you're definitely marching on from the Wheel of Fortune can also be um, can also be seen as perhaps there was difficulties or you were going through difficulties, whether it's finances or whether it's romance. I, I'm sensing this is more of a uh, relationship type of issues going on with you cancer so again uh, there might there might have been a situation where you felt that you were the one that was going to come out on top or this could be uh, the feeling like things were going things couldn't get worse basically and the the will is definitely coming out uh, to tell you that again, like I said, what goes up must come down. What's down must go up. So if you guys have been struggling um, with finances, know and understand that you have the power um, to bring to you that abundance or that um, 
that right job that's for you or finding a new passion within yourself uh, that it can actually turn into, you know, a creative outlet for you. So also I do want to mention the Wheel of Fortune followed by the Chariot. These are two major arcanas and this is something out of your control. Um, so the, usually when, when the Wheel of Fortune comes out and it's next to the Chariot, there was a sudden change, something that happened very drastically that you were not expecting. And you had no other choice but to continue on your path or push forward. Uh, this could be either in relationships. Uh, perhaps there was um, some type of clarity. Some, something happened within the couple of weeks uh, leading up to the, the beginning of October where there is no other there is no other way around it but to move forward and this is you being represented obviously the chariot is a representation of cancer sign uh, so that's you going into the month now you're leading up to the three of cups here so i feel that for some of you guys you guys are still having to deal with or having to uh get clarity in reference to this is a third party issue for sure and the reason i say that is because you do have the judgment and there's a lot of anxiety. Um, so you may be dealing with more than one person and you're just unsure or unclear what you, what it is that you want or how you want to move forward with these connections. Now, the way I'm getting the messages are very... Okay, I'm getting a lot of messages. I'm getting overwhelmed. There's a feeling of anxiety here. Um, for some of you guys, uh, perhaps this has to do with the Wheel of Fortune can represent um, moving away from the past, moving forward, and you're picking up such momentum that you reach a unexpected halt. And it has to do with the fact that you're dealing with someone and then someone from your past quickly comes into your present, uh, which is why the Three of Cups is here. Now, you may be as you may be confused in regards to a certain person you may be hopeful about a capricorn uh the reason i say capricorn is because i do see the devil card here and the devil card obviously in the tarot represents capricorn so it could be that you're hopeful or wanting to hear from a capricorn or uh you were dealing with two people and kind of suppressing the true emotions or true feelings that you have for a Capricorn that is being represented here by the devil. And based on that, with the Eight of Swords coming out, you felt stuck. You didn't know whether you wanted to move forward or not. You didn't know whether you wanted to... It's almost like you were kind of in denial about the feelings you had for this Earth sign, okay? Now, for some of you, it is a general reading. For some of you guys... You may be dealing with a water sign, so it'd be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, um, Cancers like you guys, or it could be um, Earth signs, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn itself, because uh, the devil card's here. So there is some type of anxiety with this, anxiety as far as perhaps you felt like you couldn't move forward. For some of you guys, maybe you felt like you had to pursue the business front. Uh, because you're not stable or because you've been going through, you know, some type of instability when it comes to finances that you felt you had to put your efforts and energy towards that, uh, you know, and then deal with, you know, this person will probably still be around. Um, but it so happens that this person walked away from this situation. So it could have gone multiple ways. One is you were dealing with three people. Um sorry, this was a third party energy. So you were dealing with two people. You didn't know which one to decide for. There's definitely feelings here that you have. And I feel that this is very connected to the devil card. So it could be that you have feelings or there's still lingering feelings in regards to this Capricorn here. Um, but you were suppressing those feelings or there's been some type of anxiety with this person, uh, that you didn't know whether you wanted to proceed or whether you wanted to give the opportunity to someone else. Because I do see a fire sign here. So here's the thing. I think for a lot of you cancers, um, 
you guys are ruled by emotion. You guys are obviously the element of water. Uh, but cancers, you guys are... Sometimes you tend to get overwhelmed when it comes to feelings. And instead of speaking out your truth like a Pisces would do or like a Scorpio would do, you retract and you go within yourself and suppress those feelings and emotions because you try to analyze them. You try to understand what is this overwhelming feeling when in fact you're starting to get to a point where you genuinely love a person. So it takes longer for you guys to come to that understanding or that realization. And the fact that you've been going about this, most of you guys, for all your lives, um, you know, feelings is not something that is easy to you guys, only because you feel this on a very, very deeper level. Um, you know, Pisces can kind of swim through their feelings. Uh, Scorpios are is another uh, water element a sign that goes very deep, dives very deep. But Cancers, you guys are, you know, you're being represented by the crab and the crab, when scared or frightened or felt vulnerable, goes within its shell. Um, almost like how, ca you know, how crabs actually walk. You guys walk to the side uh, or backwards. So uh, what that means is that instead of facing your feelings and moving forward, you either retract and stop and stay at a standstill until you can mull over those feelings or you go around the issue, you know, over and over and over without making a choice. And it seems like this uh, earth sign was definitely not going to sit there and wait, uh, okay? And I feel that like you kind of have put them through the ringer. Um, this is a general reading, so it could go vice versa. But I feel like there was, they were tested. Uh, cancers do tend to do that. And a lot of the times, the Eight of Swords can represent to me, it can represent feeling stuck, but it can also represent because the cat, uh, sorry, the, the devil card is next to the eight of swords. It could represent when you become almost like overbearing to a person. And when that happens, you know, you don't, it's not a needy type of energy. It's overbearing. Like, like, okay. Um, uh, maybe for some of you guys, connections were going good, but then all of a sudden something stopped and they stopped communicating. And it has to do with the fact that perhaps you were, uh, again, either retracting or not knowing how to deal with your emotions or you were overdoing it to the point where you became overbearing, okay? Now, I do see judgment here. So for a lot of you guys, the past is definitely coming for October. So people from your past are going to be coming in. Um, this can be a representation, the king of, w of wands, obviously a fire sign, which is a Sagittarius, a Leo, um, or an Aries, but I feel that this is you taking on the energies, um, uh, of the king of wands. So I feel that if you guys have been stuck, not knowing whether to decide for one person or another, or whether you even have feelings for this person, um, I feel that by the middle of October, you're definitely going to come to that realization of, you know what, I do care for this person. And you're going to go head on either reaching out to them or making whatever it is that you have to make happen to show them and prove to them. Because I feel that one or the other has been tested for a while now. Um, so it could be you testing the other person or it could be that the other person was testing you. And nonetheless, I do see the, the past coming back. But I feel like instead of the past coming towards you, it's you going towards the past. So it could be that for some of you guys, you start a new connection because you do have the Ace of Cups here. So it could be that for some of you guys, you start a new connection. Um, but before proceeding to that new connection or that new person coming into your life, you're going to deal with, with this person from your past. You're going to face it head on. Um, whether it was clarity that you're wanting, whether it is that things were never, like there was things left unsaid, that's definitely going to be coming in for the middle of the month where you both are going to have the opportunity to actually talk about it and be able to finally release the past, like bringing the past back, but only to finally leave it 
at its resting place, okay? And moving forward. Now, I do see the Four of Cups here and the Seven of Cups. I feel that for a lot of you Cancers, um, you're not speaking up when it comes to feelings. And the Four of Cups, the four, uh, sorry, the Four of Coins, I see it as, I mean, it can represent a lot of things. But in this reading particularly, it stands out because it's like there's confusion and misunderstanding uh, with this devil, the sword, and the judgment. Um, and obviously the Three of Cups here, which is three part, third party energy. But the Four of Coins is coming off as you were either holding back um, out of fear or out of just it wasn't comfortable for you to speak up whatever the situation is telling a person how you feel about them and you held back and because you held back it seems almost as if you feel you've lost this person so there is some type of reflection going on where the seven of coins is coming out as in instead of looking towards like, oh my God, I missed out on this opportunity or I missed out on this person or I messed up because I literally was giving my focus and energy to someone that perhaps you came to realize has, it doesn't have your heart, basically, okay? And coming to that conclusion or that realization, you're looking back towards, oh my God, I could have like fixed it, I could have made it better, etc., etc. The Nine of Swords here is telling you there's this mental anxiety, but it's more in your mind. So what I'm getting here in this reading is, I know it seems all over the place, um, but it's quite, it's very direct. And the message is here. And what this message is, is you are being gifted with the magician to manifest whatever it is you're able to manifest or you're wanting to bring to you. The Wheel of Fortune is telling you at this present time and in the beginning of the month of October, uh, you may feel like you've missed out or lost out in a person that perhaps was genuine and had been sticking around for quite a while, either dealing with your bullshit or you dealt with their bullshit. But there was still some, un un there was no clarity as far as what you felt for this person. And it's evident here in the Ace of Cups that you have feelings for this person that you genuinely care for them now there was some type of resistance now the devil can also be a representation of addictions it could be a representation of you know a person that is very uh is into flings is into one night stands and with the eight of swords there's a stuckness that pulls you back to this behavior okay and when doing that Ultimately, you're jeopardizing the people that are wanting to build with you or that are interested in going further with you. Now, the judgment, again, if you feel that there's been a missed opportunity, that opportunity is going to come back around in the middle of October. But you need to take action. This King of Wands is definitely inviting you. Speak your mind. Speak what you're feeling. Put your feelings out there. Two things can happen when you express your feelings to someone. And one of them is they don't feel what you feel for them, but they're aware. So there's going to be a pulling away from that connection because it's going to be, you know, it could be, it could go good, it could go bad is basically what I'm saying. But ultimately, if you don't take that risk, you're going to be missing out on something that could have been great for you, cancers, okay? Now, again, for others of you, You've left the past behind, but the past is coming back around in the middle of October, like I said. And I feel that if you guys have been dealing with a uh, fire sign, this fire sign is going to be coming back around. And it's up to you to protect yourself. So if you guys walked away from a relationship or a connection, and you're no longer with this person, and you're dealing with someone new, place your bets on this new person, okay? Don't go back to the past. Now, if you recently were dealing with emotions that have to do with the person that was either in your present or in the very near past and passing position, then you didn't act or you didn't, you know, open up 
So this person walked away because of that, because they felt that they were either taken for granted or not appreciate, appreciated. And based on that, you're going to be left feeling like I missed out. I didn't take a chance. It could be that you're tainted from previous relationships, but ultimately the one that's stuck here is you. And the reason you're stuck is out of fear. Okay, the Nine of Swords is definitely anxiety, but it has to do with your innate fears or fears that are stuck to your brain in a subconscious way. So, if given the opportunity, be the fool. Embrace new beginnings. Challenge yourself. Face your feelings head on. Don't keep them hidden. Because if you keep them hidden... You may be missing out on a person that is true and genuine to you. The reason I say that is, again, the devil card is crowning the wheel of fortune. This is destiny. The four of pentacles, there's a blockage here. So it's like you're not wanting to experience or to open your possibilities to what happiness is based out of fear. Okay? So I hope this uh, resonated to you guys. Uh, comment, like, and share my videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And we will be seeing each other in the middle of the month. Okay? Bye.